What is up YouTube? Johnny here again today and we're going to be bringing you a new episode and this is for the FRS once again. As you guys saw in a previous video we did the flex fuel kit on the FRS so now what we have to do is get it tuned. So to get it tuned we decided to come here with my good friend at good speed. So now that we're here He's just finishing up on the dyno with another car, so we're gonna be able to get you guys some footage of the initialized FRS on the dyno. So hopefully we can get some pretty good power gains. I'm hoping to get at least 40 horses to the wheels. So it's not really an unrealistic idea. So it's been done before. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done. Hopefully have 200 wheel horsepower. So I'm gonna show you guys the cars that are around here. That way you guys can see all these nice cars that they have here, especially this Porsche freaking beautiful. Alright guys, now that we have the tune done and it's been dynoed, we show quite a bit of uh, increase in horsepower. Not as quite, not quite as much as I wanted to. Wanted to get at least a 40 horsepower increase. Looks like we made it around like a 33, 34 horsepower increase. Um, apparently, it's been one of the ones that's been the highest that far that he's tuned, where it gets you know a significant amount of horses in comparison to the other ones before beforehand before even tuning it. So that's a good thing. And now we need to go ahead and fill it up on E85 because when we did the tune, I had about a half a tank of 91 octane. And then I had to bring E85 to fill it up to see how high we can get the percentage rating. So we got it up to E60. So now I've been driving it for about a week. I can definitely feel the, the power difference. There's like a huge difference to me at least, you know, I can feel it not as much as you would get you know with a supercharger but it's still a significant increase and you can definitely feel it and you can feel it pull away from cars a lot faster so now we're gonna try to get the percentage up a little bit higher because the higher your e85 percentage is you know obviously you'll get a little bit more power not much but 
to be able to get the full benefits of E85, obviously you have to be boosted. So anything above E60, uh, there's not really much of a difference in horsepower. Probably get like another three, one, two, three horsepowers. We're gonna go ahead and test drive it now. Now that we have it filled up, I actually got the percentage up to 73. So we are now on E73. Let's see if I can show you this, guys. Right there. I still don't have it, you know, fully placed where I wanted to put, but there it is, E73. So now we're gonna go ahead and drive it. And I will show you guys where the oxygen sensor connector went because I didn't show you guys in the flex fuel kit video. So I will show you guys that now it was something really simple actually we just got there to the dyno all we did was pop the hood and just plug it in and it was good to go so it was actually more simple than the one that they sell for because it's a harness that goes to your ECU so yeah let's go drive it you guys like the little pools that I did they were actually second gear pools at the beginning I launched you know from a dead stop didn't want to burn out the tires too much didn't want to pun punch it too much because you know we are on public roads they were kind of excluded away from the community they were more towards the mountainside so not a lot of cars drive through there uh, on, our, on my way back I was actually doing some second gear pools and those were amazing like you just feel the car pull you back like you can really feel the difference so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys what I connected in under the hood. So the wire ran all the way across and you have to hook it up to this connector here, which is this top one. As you guys can see, this is the connector for the oxygen sensor. So we just unplug that and just hook up the harness, which is this one right here. You can see it right there. That's the one that gets hooked up and then goes straight to your flex fuel kit into the, the module that's inside. That was the only thing I didn't get to show you guys, so I wanted you guys to know where to hook it up because it, it didn't show up on the first flex fuel video. So, really, really, really simple. And uh, thank you guys for watching. You have a good day.